Hey guys, we have sent out a message on our Instagram channel wanting y'all to send us in questions that we could answer on this video for our upcoming trip to the Pacific Crest Trail that will be starting in June. And we have a few lined up that we're ready to answer. Some of them are really good, some of them are kind of funny, and we're ready to hop into this and, you know, give you all the answers y'all been waiting for. Let's get started. All right, first question comes from my good friend, Anthony Durante. Anthony, <laughs> Anthony asked, how will you still stay entertained while we're on the trail? Um, I mean, definitely each day is gonna get repetitive. I mean, we're hiking for four to six months each day, you know, 20 to 30 miles, so it's gonna get very repetitive. But I mean, we're gonna be in one of nature's most beautiful places. So definitely just seeing all of God's creations is gonna make it, you know, a lot of fun. And we're gonna be posting pictures and little short videos, you know, like on TikTok every day, or I mean, whenever we have service, I don't know about every day, but we're just, just taking pictures and videos and stuff is gonna make it a lot more bearable because it's gonna be very repetitive. Okay, from David Bavuset, he and his wife, hi y'all, uh, worried about where we're gonna sleep, shower, etc. So for sleep, we're gonna be in our tent most of the time. Um, when we're in towns, which will be every three to five days on average, uh, we'll be staying in hostels or hotels, but for the most part, we'll be in our tent on our sleeping pad with our quilts, which are like sleeping bags if you're not familiar with quilts. Next up, what obstacles do you think you'll face? So there's a couple that kind of jump out right away. Um, weather being one, because it being February, we have no idea what the weather's gonna be like in Washington come June. So we're kind of going on a limb and just praying it's gonna treat us well. Um, and then along the way, snowstorms, thunderstorms, uh, rain, things like that. Um, those will be obvious obstacles we have to face. Also, he asked, what is one of your biggest worries about the trip? And there's definitely gonna be days that are going to just absolutely suck. I mean, it's gonna be extremely cold, and we're, I mean, we're hiking across the Sierras, so it's gonna be very cold, but my biggest worry is something bad happening. I mean, like one of us getting injured, not being able to finish the trip, or just the weather along there. That is, that's genuinely, genuinely my only worry about this upcoming trip. Next question was from Matthew Torres, another good friend of mine from high school. And he had a couple questions about how long it is, 2,650 miles, and then how long has it been a trail? So a little history lesson for everybody out there, which was interesting to me, but I'm a nerd. So here goes. Um, in 1926 was when the, it was first proposed that a trail go through Oregon, Washington, and California. Um, and that was by Catherine Montgomery. In the 30s, exploration began, so they kind of started looking for possible routes where it would go and uh, what natural areas it would kind of pass through. In 1939, it appeared on a federal government map for the very first time. In 1968, it was designated as a National Scenic Trail, which is what it is still today, 40 years later, 50 years later, 50? Yeah, 50 years later. In 1988, the monuments were placed at the northern and southern terminus that marked the beginning and end of the trail. And in 1993, it was completed and uh, finished like it is today, uh, all the way through 2,650 miles of trail. Anthony and also Mackenzie Elliott, they both asked me what inspired me to take this trail, take this trip. My, what inspired me is because I was, I had my eyes set on something and I was all in and then, you know, something happened so I wasn't able to do that anymore. And at that point, I was just lost. I didn't know what to do. Didn't know where I was going or anything like that. So I was just going through the motions of every day. And Josh, he sent me a message one day just telling me about the Pacific Crest Trail. And I, you know, I never heard of it. So I did my research, watched a few videos and everything. And I was like, holy cow, this is pretty cool. Because, you know, the only thing, the main thing that uh, inspires me is traveling, seeing, and experiencing different things. and like new aspects of life. So just being able to walk across, you know, that portion of the country is just, you know, uh, a dream of a lifetime. So I'm, I'm all in and I'm putting absolutely everything I have into the, making this an, a reality. So that's my backstory behind it. My grandma and grandpa, Nan and Papa, hey guys, love y'all. Um, they had a couple pretty good questions. So first up, they've been asking about meeting up to hike a section of it with us, about 100 miles or less. 
and how like the logistics with that, how that would work. So essentially, whenever you're free on your schedule, just let us know and we'll kind of look at what towns we'll be by. Y'all fly to that town, Uber to whatever trail town we'll be in and then we'll be waiting on y'all there. And if it's a couple days, that's not a big deal. But um, we'll be waiting on y'all there and then we can hike out, hike south for three, four or five days, whatever it ends up being. And then getting out kind of the same way. Um, get into a trail town, y'all can Uber out or rent a car out, however it works best. Um, get to an airport, fly out. So that shouldn't be a huge deal. It should be fairly smooth, but um, that's definitely possible. And we're kind of excited about that because I think I'll get sick of Brad after a little while. <laughs> Their next question was, how are we gonna stay in contact with our loved ones and our uh, friends throughout this four to six months we're gonna be out there? So the PCT has cell coverage over 70% of it. So we'll be able to make phone calls and send texts and things like that for 70% of the trail. We're not exactly sure where those spotty spots are, spotty spots, spotty areas are of cell service. Um, so we're considering getting a Garmin, but we're not super sure of that because they're expensive, but it's something we're considering. But for the most part, it'll be cell phones and we'll have cell coverage most of the way. Also, we'll be posting on social media every day that we have cell service for the most part. We're uh, gonna be editing pictures throughout the whole 2,650 miles and we'll be posting those and hopefully little snippets of video as well on uh, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, pretty much everywhere except YouTube during those four to six months. My brother, he asked me a few different questions. He said, what am I hoping to gain from this trip? I am personally, I'm hoping to this may sound corny, but I'm helping, hoping to find myself, figure out what I want. And you know, the dream come true would maybe have this turn into something that we can continue to do for a long time. But if not that, then maybe just a better understanding of myself, better like what I want, because you know, like I, I'm one of those people, I there's so many things, possible things we can do and I'm just, you know, I'm just all over the place. He also asks, if I die, can he have all of my belongings? Um, all I have is Bentley, so I mean, you're all for it. You, you can have her. Tutu, my other grandma, hi Tutu, asked where it begins and ends. So for us, we're hiking southbound, and it starts at the Canadian border in Manning Park, and then it ends in Campo, California, about an hour and a half-ish east of San Diego on the Mexican border. My good friend William, he asked, how will I protect myself if there is a bear attack? I do not know. I mean, you know, bear attacks are rare. I personally, I don't know what I'd do. I'd probably just freeze and just, you know, sit there and pray and hope for the best. My parents, hey ma, hey dad, how you doing? They asked me, what will y'all be doing for safety or have for safety? We'll have, you know, we'll have that small first aid kit, you know, we'll be walk, I mean, we'll be going through a town every so often, so if it's something serious, we can just pull off and take a zero day to heal up or whatever, but I mean, we'll have to adapt as we go. Next question was from Young Willis over on Instagram. He slid up on our story. I'm gonna butcher his last name, but it's uh, Willie Merchin. What's up, man, how you doing? He's been a big supporter of ours for a while now, uh, so we're grateful for him. And Young Willis says, how did y'all get started with this dream? So, which is actually a pretty good question. Um, for me, when I was like a, I think a junior in high school, I watched a documentary about the Pacific Crest Trail called Only the Essentials. And that kind of put it on my radar. It was kind of one of those things where I told myself, you know, one day that'll be something cool to do. And uh, you can kind of put that on the bucket list, but one day that'll be something cool to do. And, had some stuff fall through this past year to where I was kind of open-ended, could have gone a lot of different routes this year. And I decided to just kind of take advantage of this um, openness in my life at this point and make one day June 17th where we're starting. So um, it's been about four or five years now that I've been wanting to do this. And then got back on my radar in October and started researching it. Applied for permits on June 13th and June 14th, actually. And it's kind of, the days have been going by fast since then, but it's super exciting that the, our start date's finally coming. Okay, so that was our pre-PCT Q&A. Um, hope that answers some of y'all's questions. If you have any more, leave them in the comments and we'll try to answer them as best we can. But thank y'all so much for watching. 
and we will see y'all next time. Bye.